and uh, sort of changes the dynamic of the uh, owner to dog uh, relationship the first time you see your dog murder another animal <laughs> and, uh, so I wrote this for him <laughs> Well, I saw you out the window with the bunny in your mouth. <laughs> Shaking him around till his guts fell out. <laughs> and at first I was bummed, but you looked so proud. With your tail held high, your tongue hanging out. Now people say you're crazy and I ought to put you down. That you're a danger to society I shouldn't allow. And of course I hear what they're saying, but to tell you the truth, well, sometimes I like to kill things too. <laughs> I killed a bunch of tomatoes because I thought they'd look fine. Mutilated to perfection on a pizza pie. Without a hint of hesitation, I ripped them off with a vine. Yep, sometimes dinner means taking some lies. That's right. I watched my grandma cut some roses that she'd grown from seed. So that she could look on them whenever she might please. Upon the kitchen table in a watery tomb. Well, Sometimes, Grandma, like I kill things, too. I must have killed a thousand cows just to eat on their butts. <laughs> While wealthier folks take the softer cuts. <laughs> we peel back the skin and make comfy shoes. Yep. Cows aren't the only ones who treat like this. I bet you sometimes cows wonder why they exist. It's the saddest part of the show right there. <laughs> Once I tried to kill a spider with a magnifying glass. But it was taking too long, so I just stepped on him. <laughs> So next time you got a critter in your killer crosshairs And you're wondering how you'll answer to the man upstairs Know that if you're going to hell I'll be there with you Cause sometimes I like to kill things too but Sometimes I like to kill things too <laughs> Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it, thank you